morning. Keep this product out of the reach of children. Oh no, don't touch it! We've got a little hole in the dash of the disco. We are going to try this kit, which came with some cloth, a little spatula, a mixing container, a bunch of colors, and some instructions. What do we have to do first? Clean the area. It says clean with alcohol. It's really lovely out today. This is the hole in question, and I gotta get all this black goop off. And then we have to decide, are we gonna match this color, or are we gonna match this color? Well, this is just a really version of, dirty version of black color. All right, so at first we're just gonna clean. This is Johnny Wooten's leather plastic cleaner. We're just gonna see if we can make this dash a little more even looking. Nope. It seems really badly stained. This thing is pretty dirty. I got that to blend in a little better. Whatever that melted plastic is does not just come off by scrubbing. So I'm gonna just get a razor blade and try to scrape all that stuff off of there. Scotch bright pad. This one's better. I'm gonna do this right white and white. Nice. I think I can go over this with a polisher when I'm done though. Or maybe I just made it way worse. We shall find out. Hello. What she has done, it came with this color guide and none of this really matches at all. I mean, it's kind of close. Like it's one of these maybe with just more white in it. The way they do this, they give you a bunch of different colors down here. She's gonna use her artistic ability to see if she can get a good color match. I'm doing white and walnut. That's the closest one we found. While she does that, I'm gonna continue sanding and scraping at the dash. I don't know how much to use. It's a pretty good sized hole. I mean, I'm not gonna use this kit for anything else. And a little bit of walnut. Close these back up. Nope, not close enough. <laughs> There's actually like barely any. I think some white and yellow will make it. Caps not coming up. Now we're getting somewhere. What if you get that mixed and I'm not quite ready? Well then I don't know what to do. Well, there's a lid. Through a combination of scraping and sanding and scrubbing, we got it looking a little better. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna hit it with a buffer and then I'm gonna clean it up with alcohol. Hopefully she'll have her mix done. Show them what you're doing. Peanut buttery. How do I like make it that? What? It really does look like peanut butter. It needs to be a little lighter, add a little white to it. Okay. Kinda looks grayish. I just got this stuff. I'm gonna try to buff that plastic a little bit. And then I'm gonna go over it with this one. It says clean it with alcohol. So I got 91% isopropyl off. Isopropyl alcohol. What? That's not too bad. Okay. The kit said if it's greater than one fourth of an inch to cut a piece of cloth and cram it in there. So that's good. Uh, so peanut butter is good. You think it's too dark or too light? I want to get this guy. You tell me. Okay. Add a little bit of the dark walnut. Dark. I'll just split open. Nice. It's closer than it was. We're gonna put it in and then let it dry. Wow, it's not that close at all. No. It's all right. That's why we're testing it. It needs way more like yellow or something in it. Yeah, it's not very close. That's all right. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna smear it on there. We'll let it dry and then we'll like sand off everything that's in excess. And then we'll do another layer if it doesn't look good. But it'll probably lighten up as it dries a little bit. I need a bigger spatula. All right, done. Okay, after drying, it looks like we smeared some brown fingernail polish on the dash. I'm gonna sand and try again. After sanding and wiping, this is what it looks like. It's definitely too dark. So I'm just gonna mix up another kind of lighter batch and try to smear it all across the top and just see what we can get. 
Okay, well now I've managed to make it look like flesh. So that'll be quite delightful, but I'll let that set up. It looks like as it dries, it gets a little darker. So I'll let it dry, then we'll buff it smooth. And maybe it looks better than the black goo that was there before. Maybe not, but let's fix these horns. These horn buttons do not do any, oh. <gasps> I fixed it. Okay, well this one's still broken. I can't believe that works. Um, but we're also gonna go ahead and replace this. So I just need to unclip, this was not attached. I just need to unclip those clips. And this is broken too. So we'll get all this stuff off of here. Look, that just comes right out of there. That's not broken though. Ha ha. Oh, super easy. I think it'll be obvious what order. Green top, blue bottom. Yeah, this thing is a piece. But I got a nicer one in the basement. Now I can get to this to get that. Oop, I got the razor blade back here. Well, it's not as easy as I thought it'd be. I need some sort of stick. <gasps> don't drop that in there, it'll never come out. <sighs> is this fun, guys, watching somebody struggle with a sticker? Is that what entertains you? Just, just hit skip, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna cram this into here. I don't know where that goes. And we'll soak that down with Goobagon. Oh man, that like dissolved it as it sprayed it. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let that sit. All right, how does this come up? All right, so that clip's broken, but that's it. <laughs> oh, why is it so wet? Oh, it's not. It's just uh, grungy. What do you think holding the bottom one on? Is it actually held into place or is it just kind of... With those screws undone, this came right down and they actually stayed in there. So that's convenient. That's gross. Go in my gross pile. So now I just really want to clean all this. I got a new one of these. This wheel kind of feels crappy, but I think that just might be how it is. So let's clean. So all that sticker stuff is gone. I've decided to take apart a lot more so I can really clean this thing up while I'm at it. So these things just come off with a little screw right here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, oh look, that unscrews. <laughs> God, this thing is gross. Hold on, do you want to watch me do that? Purple, brown, purple. Probably gooed in there with goo. All right. Green. Black. All right, why are the tan ones difficult? <clears throat> oh, just goo. This one is just stubborn. All right, there we go. Now we can clean that. Um, this looks like it was glued on, but I'm just gonna pull that out of there. One, two. Guys, whenever doing this stuff, I like to, as I take things apart, I put the screws to kind of a section all in a Ziploc bag so I'll remember where they are, but you always gotta label these things. So these are, these are assorted screws. So that way we remember these are the assorted, oh, for the front. So these are the front assorted screws, perfect.
I just sucked up some money. Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. I'll take those up first. These will go into the ass box. We'll see. Alright, maybe it is just the back. I said these things pop out from the inside. They being the internet. Yep, they just pry out. Oh, I just snapped it back in. Oh, it's like a little gizmo. All right, we're trying to figure out this. Look, it like, oh, look, it's instructions. Those are the buttons. That's that. The slide. And then you stab a ice pick and pry. That's the big button. That's the little button. That's the slide thingy. I don't know if that's what you were supposed to do because I just ripped the buttons off. I didn't break anything though. Oh, look, it keeps coming. Ah, ha, ha. All right. Success. Mm. Do we remember where that was? That's symmetric, so it doesn't matter. And then that one has to be like that. Okay. Back together. So now we can do the other side. It worked on the other side. You saw it. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Give a sec. There were two screws down in there, and I took those out. They're over there. They'll be in the assorted. And then look, this whole thing is not loose. So now I just have to lift it up here without breaking it. This is gonna be in the way. Interesting. Oh, <gasps> money! If I take that off, is it gonna screw up everything? Look, there's a little clip. One of the chances if I push that off, I'd lose it forever. And then the car doesn't stop. Okay. That's easy. Easy. Alright. Well, if I get that pin out of there, am I ever gonna get it back in? And is it actually going to release it? Okay. That's just a little pin. Oh, now it goes up. Okay. Now that goes way up. And I, that should go back together. Let's lose this instantly. Oh, now what is it touching on? I'm gonna take this back off, which I hate doing, because you just have to punch yourself in the face. Oh, see? Punch yourself in the face. What is it hooked to? Oh, the freaking cigarette lighter. It was just two plugs. I blindly reached in there and squeezed and pulled, and they came out. All right. Got this out of there. It is pretty gross, but man, you're not gonna see any of that. So I'm just gonna vacuum it, wipe all the way around the edge. I guess I'm gonna get the seats out. I don't really know if I want to. What's this? <gasps> it's a cubby hole. What the hell would you stick in there? I guess like a pet hamster or something. Um, I'm going to vacuum before. All right, this is after. I mean, it definitely looks better. Um, I've been using this little steam cleaner. I don't know if it looks better because of the steam or just with the steam cleaner, you spray it with this thing and then you wipe it with water. Here, I'll show an area which should be pretty satisfying. All right, like that goo down there. You hit it with the 
the steam, then you take a rag and you wipe it. And now, yes, it looks better. But does it look better because of the steam or just because I wiped it with water? It's still kind of fun though, because it makes a big loud noise. And that was pretty good on that little spot. Let's clean around that instrument panel. Okay, this is hard to do and film at the same time. So I'm just gonna kind of do that. A little panning shot. And then we're gonna steam it and see after. I mean, it definitely looks better. But does it look better because I wiped it down with warm water? Or does it look better because of the steamer? I did find something real satisfying though. Watch this. All right, see that, that pedal? See the dirt, dirt yeah that looks better there it did something all right let's see if this one's satisfying that was pretty good Okay, we took the steering wheel off. Well, no, the cover. So it was 30 torques and it is a pain to get to. But if you work with it, you'll get them off. And there's the airbag, which is the part that can explode. So you want to get this little plug out. Can you go get me something out of the back? Yeah, what is it? It's the little lever looking thing. They say, turn off the battery. I had the battery off all night. Which one? The little blue handle with the black, yeah. I just want to pop this little. What? If this explodes right there, I'm gonna back there. up. There we go. Now that can explode, or can it still explode? Ah, maybe. I don't know. It's unclear. So what we're doing is replacing these little buttons. So there's a ground. Ow! Oh, good. I didn't break it. Yay! And then that just pulls that right there. Okay, all right, so we need this unplugged. Are you chewing gum? Yeah. I don't know if people enjoy hearing gum chewing in their video. Then I won't chew. <laughs> That's fine. I'd rather break the switch than the surround because I have the new switches. Oh, broke it. Just come out of your home. Sure there's nothing else you need to do? There, it's just a little, it's like, it clips in there. Oh, oh, you broke it. Yep, it was already broken. Oh, look, now I can push it out the back. Where did it go? Oh my goodness. Wow. Now it's inside of there. Okay. <laughs> Break that one too. How about we catch it before it falls inside it's, the It's room? impossible, it's inside of there. There. Now they're both <laughs> inside of there. So I have... Hey, at least you don't hear it when you turn the wheel. What if I'm driving like that? Well, then you're crazy. All right, so I got to get this unplugged. Okay, I got the horn out. Those little buttons uh, that broke, I was able to kind of poke in there, and then they slid down there. So those little pieces are out of there. What we need to do is install the new one. Oh, so they hooked down, so I should have pushed them up. I was assuming they came inside. This should finagle into the, God, that stuff's dense. Wait, I don't know what you're seeing. I might have to delete all that, but. That clips into there. This one comes over here. This one clips into here. This one. Clips into here, and they all have little directional things. Bagels into that spot, and that one holds nicely. Right, this needs to go back in here. This needs to go over in here. This clips here, this clips here. 
It just sits there. All right, we got buttons in. I guess I should take, oh, the freaking battery's off. So I'm not gonna be able to test them until it's all together. Let's hook up the airbag and turn on the battery and we'll see if this all honks. This is my new piece. I got all my buttons switched over and I got the clips back in. And now we just have to figure out where it settles. Oh, there it goes, that's pretty easy. That's done. That side's in. I just have to get those two little screws in. Oh, is it gonna reach? I need a short screwdriver. Are you kidding me? Is that still not even short enough? Oh, I have to, I'm just gonna have to use this little piece. How oh, that actually works. So those two screws are in. That is not the most secure thing in the world, but I think that's just probably how it is. I got that back together. And now let's work on this, uh, let's work on the center console. We're gonna rebuild the center console. So this should snap in here somehow. Okay. Ah, yeah. So as you slide that in, it pulls it back down. Snaps in here. All right, snap into place. Maybe bottom first, and then top. Oh, there it goes. Ha <laughs> ha. Other side. What I do over there? Bottom first, then top. Oh, that one went easier. Okay. These things. There's a bunch of little switches. All right, there's two wiring harnesses. How can I tell which side goes to what? Brown guy goes there. I'm gonna look at my video and see if there's the green wiring harness, and then there's the black wiring harness and see which side goes to what. I'll be back. Okay, green was driver's side, black is passenger side. And these basically only fit in one spot. All right, there we go. And we cram all this. Oh no, hold on. I have a cover that goes on here and it might be way easier to put it back on before I put this on. Okay, I got this back on. This is when I had my daughter sew up for me. Just found a little piece of fake leather at Joann's and it's kind of a nice dark brown color. Yeah, so that's back on. One of the little tabs is broken. So hopefully 75% will hold this. And let's snap this back in here. Beautiful. And voila. That is looking pretty darn good, especially compared to what it looked like before. That's pretty. All right, guys, look at that bit of beautifulness. This is the nicest this thing has ever been. We got a new cover around that one that matches this one. It's all cleaned up. These buttons are in place. All we have to do next is stick in the cup holders. Oh, you get to pick which way this little handle thing goes. Mm, there. Well, now I don't know. I don't like having choices. I'm gonna just pick that. And then I have the new ashtray. Hopefully it goes in without breaking. Oh, that'll never get used. It's beautiful. Just look at it. Look at it. All right, we found another person to try their hand at the color match. Mm. This is our camera man. We created a green out of yellow and blue. 
He's starting with basics. green. That's the basics of color mixing. We started with um, the tans and tried to get it the tans to match. It does kind of look tan, but it also looks maybe green. That's probably the algae. Color Here's the natural color. Because I would hope that it, yeah, it didn't start off green. If I had to say, that's definitely not too worse than what saturated. I mean. <laughs> so how do we tamp down the saturation? More whites probably. Should I just do straight up white or like a neutral or is it like a gray? There's no gray. Can we make gray? You can mix black and white. <laughs> Do you want gloves? I have gloves. Don't care. Okay. Just wipe it on the seat. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's see. That's not really helping. I definitely need to mix in some. I, it definitely needs to have some brownness to it. We're getting some progress because we added a little bit of brown to the green. You just smear it on there too. It looks like. Well, it's not really mixed up that well. Yeah. Let me go get. We can do the mixing on the car itself. Let me go get my gloves. I like to smear with my fingers. All right. It's hard to tell because it's shiny. Right now it's wet, so it's shinier than the dull matte finish. I feel like it's about the same as what was already there. My little fleshy bit. It does look like flesh. Here, I need a little bit more right there. I just need to get this little one little hole filled in a little better. Try to do the spatula. Let me see. Get that mm. level. I guess the other thing is, is it going to dry the same color that it went on? It seems to, it gets a little darker as it dries. So that might actually be okay. Oh, you know what? I got this little hole here. Let's see how it does in this little spot. Like we're just making it worse. Oh yeah, if I, I've, I've, definitely, if I had just stopped after I had cut all the black off, and smooth it a little bit and just left a small hole there, it'll have looked way better than whatever <laughs> this stuff is. The trick is to either just paint everything or, <laughs> or nothing at all. I think the trick would have been having a black dash. There's a little bit more if we need it. I don't think so. I think it's all smooth now. Perfect. I feel like the original color you had was definitely closer to what the actual original was without the greenish to it. Greenishness. Beautiful. This, this is actually a different color entirely than this. <laughs> Alright. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> Can't really tell. Alright, so that concludes our today project. This little fleshy bit, it looks a lot better. My uh, cameraman, aka brother, was able to get a color match a lot better. You still could see some of the remnants of the fleshy bits but it's better than black goo in a hole I guess we have it nice and clean we have these nice little new leather covers over the shifters in the emergency brake and both horns work so the next project is ABS traction control and heel descent also known as the three amigos we're gonna try to get rid of those lights <laughs>